Привет всем, let's start this review off. Boyovaya Machina Desantner 4M, okay, uh, BMD 4M Airborne Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Um, this is the third kit they've released from Trumpets here, 135th scale as usual. Uh, they also previously released BMD 4, BMD 3, I think. Anyways, on the box, um, usual color profile. Tells you what photo etch is inside, and there's all this. This is technical info. You're going to find this in the description. And on this side, another color profile. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, instructions, some marketing stuff, sprues, one, two. Three bag of stuff, and then this little section here looks like the lower upper hull and some other pieces. So, not too much to look at. Let me get them debagged, have a look at detail, have a look at the instructions, and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, let's start, kick off with the instructions. Also, as usual, you get a like advertisement usually within these kits of course you got the feature one here the BMD4 and some of the other recent ones here's the uh, painting and the marking guide as usual you get two layouts this will be the most this is sort of like current three color Russian camo uh, obviously check your own references paint references as usual are Mr. Hobby both types the lacquer and the accretion versions. Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbrol. Quite interesting selection there. On this side, we've got a parade vehicle. You can see the colors of St. George. That is the uh, Russian Army star symbol. And of course, there, there's Veda uh, V symbol, Voz Dushni Desantni Voiska. And uh, instructions, just a small little booklet because uh, it's quite a pleasing little kit. So a typical trumpet here, you get your parts layout on one side, shows you how many sprues there are, and then it's, uh, the basically the construction is very atypical. Um, build up the lower hull suspension, add on your road wheels. Add on your sprocket, add on various fittings on the lower hull. And uh, this is probably the maker or breaker. This is really what you have to deal with with armored vehicles. You have to construct the track. There's 74 individual links. Uh, trumpets here don't really do the old um, link and length. It's individual tracks. So we'll have a look at these parts in detail. And also, you can see that the track is actually composed of two components. You've got the track link and also a guard a guide horn. So a bit of work there to do. Uh, already we're constructing details on the upper hull. Upper hull to lower hull, rear plate goes on, some PE details, more and more details on the hull. More ancillary details like hatches and bits getting fitted by page eight, step eight, also, there's a armored uh, the recovery wire there as well. Um, gets detailed, fitted on. Looks like a PE grill for the rear deck. Final details get fitted. One page for the construction of the turret, which has got all these smoke discharges on it. PE details, the sighting optics, etc. And then by stage 11, you fit the main gun, which appears to be in one piece, onto the turret, turret drops down, and you're done. So, um, quite a nice little model, not a thousand parter by any means. Let's have a look at the parts in detail now. Okay, first sprue we're looking at is the turret. I just want to point out something as well, actually. It is worth noting that Trumpeteer, their packaging is just the best in terms of i've never had a broken part within the box so maybe i've just been lucky but they really do take care to add the extra protection and um, even when it's maybe not even necessary because this is just the turret 
but let's just have a look at the turret you can see there's quite a lot of detail molded on the um, weld beads are quite well captured as well this is the gun mantlet with a depiction of the fabric that would cover that the weather proofing here is of note the main gun it's uh, it's two guns actually they have a smooth bore cannon and also I think it's a 20 millimeter um, side by side here's the aerials the aerials look really good actually quite usable um, typically you sort of get them without the actual antenna but these ones are attached that looks pretty good smoke discharges in one piece which is what we want to see and also note the sighting optics etc are hollowed out so you've got the clear parts that go inside there this is um, and the other large sprue contains sort of the rear deck here again you've got this detailing of the weld seams looks really good nice fine detail flash free all same from trump tier you sort of know what you're going to get these are two rear boxes i think i don't know what they are if they're fuel tanks or whatever but they go on the rear deck and pioneer tool there as well two duplicate sprues as you come to expect from running gear so let's just have a look at that drive sprocket which is really sharp really nicely detailed road wheels here again this pattern around here is the mold of the rubber so that's quite deliberate stub axles are pretty um, fine as well but it's a very small vehicle so it shouldn't cause any problems in terms of its strength now other things I better point out are the tracks tracks are like so a bag of tracks these I don't think they're going to be too painful but let's have a quick look inside and just sort of see how they are composed so in terms of cleanup you've only got to clip them off the one piece of sprue and I'm wondering if these are clicked together or otherwise appears not you probably need to cement them together and also all these guide horns need to be glued into position as well quite a bit of work to do with the tracks there are alternatives out there you could get the master club ones or whatever um, I haven't made my mind up on these but these are perfectly usable if you put in the time uh, now let's have a look at the uh, hero parts uh, first of all the hull I'm going to zoom you in now there you go this is a better look at the detail in particular the weld seams all the fittings exceptionally well detailed small vehicle as well and here's the lower hull again I'll just show you in the close-ups again to show you that they've actually got the weld beads captured even underneath the hull and also they've got these um, outlets here I believe this is uh, an amphibious vehicle so I think these are water intakes for some sort of propulsion possibly let's just get an idea of how this thing looks there we are it's about the size of it quite nice we've got optics as well in clear plastic uh, which I think is a must nowadays so good detailing there here's the uh, water transfer sheet with the markings as per what is showing on those colour diagrams let me just open this up and show you nice clear prints etc you might choose your own markings do your own research or whatever but those look pretty good out of the box finally 
we've got the uh, recovery wire and it's worth noting as well they're actually in two different thicknesses and also this is quite a malleable wire perfectly usable so not like the old dragon springy stuff that you used to get it's actually usable and photo etch is uh, just a single sprue a single fret of photo etch um, which is quite nice <laughs> you've got small details you've got the obviously the engine grill deck there and other details that go on so that's the bmd4 hope you enjoyed the review and this is the bear and i am out of here